Hey guys, and welcome to another Junior Sunday Snack. My name is Michael, and we've got a whole bunch of Lego with us today. Now what we're going to be doing today is, I'm gonna tell you two stories, and what you have to do is spot the difference. Can you guys do that? Can you spot the difference in the two stories? Okay, and then at the end, we'll have a big question for you guys to talk about as a family. You guys ready? Okay, here goes. So, the story starts with, story starts with a preacher. So there was a preacher who came to a town and started talking about Jesus. He started talking about Jesus. And what he said was that the people in the town were sinning. That they had sinned. That was the bad news. That they were sinners. They've done things that God didn't like. That they'd done wrong things. But the good news is that God sent Jesus, who died on the cross for their sins, so that they can be forgiven, have their sins wiped away. And so what they need to do is, first thing, they need to repent. They need to repent of their sins. That means they need to take their sins and say, I'm not going to trust my sins anymore. I'm not trusting this anymore. This might make me happy. This might get me money. This might be the thing that I want, but I'm going to stop trusting in my sin. And instead, I'm going to start trusting in Jesus. I'm going to trust in Jesus. I'm not going to trust in my sin. I'm going to trust in Jesus. That's what the preacher said. Now, in the town, there was a sorcerer or a magician. Here's our magician. And look how he's standing. He's going, mm, because everybody in the town liked him. Everybody in the town liked him, the magician or the sorcerer because he could do weird tricks. Now, sorcery and is a sin and so it wasn't something he was supposed to be doing but it made him got him money and it made him famous and it made him important so he liked it but the preacher what did the preacher say the preacher came with the message saying that they were sinners but the good news is that jesus could forgive them of their sins and so they needed to repent they needed to repent of their sins which means the sorcerer needed to give up all his books on magic and sorcery and said, so, do you know what he did? He did that. He made a big pile and this is in Acts chapter 19. All the sorcerers gathered together and they burnt all their magic books. They repented of their, ma their magic and their sorcery. They said, we're not going to trust in it anymore. We're done with it. They, they said they were done with it and they're not going to trust their magic and their sorcery anymore. Instead, they're going to trust in Jesus. That's what they did. They said, we're sinners. We need Jesus. And we're going to repent of our sins. We're going to burn it. Burn all our magic books. And we're going to trust in Jesus. That's what they said. And that's how the first story ends. Now, you ready for the second story? Now, remember, you got to try to spot the difference. Now, the second story also starts with a preacher. And this story comes from Acts chapter 6. Acts chapter, sorry, Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9. The first story was Acts chapter 19, and this is Acts chapter 9. And a preacher came, and he said, was preaching the same message about Jesus, that people had sinned, that they had sinned, and so they needed Jesus. They needed Jesus so that they could be forgiven of their sins. And so they needed to repent. They needed to repent and trust in Jesus. Jesus. They needed to repent and trust in Jesus. And so in this town, there was also a sorcerer. There was also a sorcerer. And here's the sorcerer. There he is. He's, he's got his hands above his head. In, because in the same as the first story, everybody liked him because he could do weird magic tricks. And so he got lots of money and he was famous. And the, the kings in the town liked him because he could impress them. And with all his, his weird magic and his sorcery. But remember, that was all sin. And so when the preacher came, telling this man, whose name was Simon, that he was a sinner who needed to trust in Jesus so he could be forgiven. And by first repenting and then trusting in Jesus, do you know what he did? He got baptized. He got baptized and he said, yes, I want to trust in Jesus. And so let's build this. So he said, yes, I'm a sinner. And yes, 
Jesus came so that I could be forgiven. And you know what? Yes, I'm going to trust in Jesus and I'm going to be baptized. I'm going to trust in Jesus. And that's where the first story ended. Sorry, the second story ended. Now, did you guys spot the difference? Who at home spotted the difference between the first story and the second story? Maybe pause the video now and chat with your parents. What, what was the difference? What was the big difference between the first story and the second story? Okay, so maybe you've chatted about it now. Um, now, let's have a look. So where did the second story end? It ended with him over there. That was Simon the sorcerer. And here's what he'd done. He'd said, yes, I'm a sorcerer. Yes, Jesus came so I could be forgiven and I'm going to trust in him. But what's missing? What's the big difference? The repentance. Did he repent? Did he burn all his magic books and say, I'm done with that? I'm done with that. No, he didn't. He did not repent. And so was he actually saved? Did he actually trust in Jesus? The answer was no. No, he hadn't. Because later on, he came to them and he said, you know what? You know what? I've, I'm a sinner. I've trusted in Jesus. I haven't repented. And I've trusted in Jesus. But So you know what? I, I still have my sin. I still have my sin. I want to hold on to it. And the preacher came to him and said, and Philip, he said to him, you need to repent. You need to repent. You need to give up your sin. And Simon the sorcerer said, no. He said, no. You can pray for me. Pray for me. But I'm not going to repent. I'm not going to repent. I'm not going to give up all my sin. And so we don't actually know whether Simon the sorcerer trusted and repented of his sins or not. So we don't know what happened to him. But the sorcerers in the first story, they're in heaven now because they repented and trusted in Jesus. And so now, guys, the question that we have to talk about as a family is this. What sins do you need to repent of? What sins do you still do? So maybe you're a Christian, you know that you've sinned, and you know that you can be forgiven by Jesus. But maybe you haven't taken the time to think about what sins do you need to repent of? What sins do you still do that Jesus doesn't like, that you need to get rid of and trust in Jesus? That's something that maybe you guys can talk about as a family. Maybe it's annoying your sister. Maybe it's um, not listening to your parents and not making your bed. Why do you do that? Because you, you want to do the other things you want to do. You don't want to make your bed because you want to trust in in, in, in having fun rather than listening to what God says about listening to your parents. So, the question you guys can talk about as a family is this. What sins do you need to put away and stop doing and instead repent and trust in Jesus? Well, that's the big question for today, guys. And the story of Simon shows us that we need to not just trust in Jesus, but also repent. That means put away our sins and stop trusting in them. Like the sorcerers from the first story, they burnt all their magic books. They said, we're done with this. Can you read a book if it's burnt? No. They said they were completely done with it. So as Christians, we need to repent, say, I'm done with my sin and trust in Jesus. Well, awesome, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for another Junior Sunday Snack. Hope you have a great chat as a family. If you want to watch some more Sunday Snacks, you can click over here. And if you want to watch some more Wacky Wednesdays, you can click over here. For me and all my Lego... Um, we're going to say bye for now. Bye, guys.